uh, so this presentation looks at triple des or three des. Um, basically, three des is a private key encryption method where we use a standard algorithm uh, to encrypt, and then the ciphertext is sent over the communication channel, and the same secret key is used to decrypt it. In the case of 3DES, we actually have two keys, K1 and K2. K1 encrypts, then K2 decrypts, and then K1 re-encrypts. which gives us the three phases of DES. So each, at each stage we have a standard DES algorithm, but the key is split into two. So it's an encrypt, then a decrypt, and then an encrypt again. On the other side we do the reverse. There are three main methods of uh, encryption. Symmetric is, is secret key or private key of which 3DES is one. We can also have public key, asymmetric encryption, and one-way hashing. Uh, so the, the number of keys that we generate will relate to the, the key size that we have. And because uh, DES has a 56-bit key, the two bits together will give us 112 bits in the key which should make it fairly secure. The problem that we have with DES is that we've got three rounds of encryption for every one encrypted uh, object. With uh, three DES we, we split the, the message block up into certain sizes and then we apply a secret key onto it and we can create a cipher block from there. In a standard electronic code book, we can we then encrypt each block with the key. The problem with that is that each block will always come out the same. So we often add salt, and that involves an initialization vector. The initialization vector will make the encrypted blocks different. So this shows a standard for cipher block chaining, or CBC. We have an initialization vector and we use that with the block and with the key to be able to get a encrypted, encrypted block then this is then chained into the next block and so on so it will vary as, as we go along ok so 3DES uh, gives us one, our 112 bits the 2 times the two times 56 bits uh, gives us our, our, our key size so then as we said, we encrypt, we then decrypt with the second key, and then we encrypt again with the third key. So to keep compatibility, these two keys are actually the same. So let's have a look at our code. Okay, so the program will stop here. Uh, so this is our crypto provider, and this is a standard part of the .NET 2 framework. We're using an initialization vector here. Of just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, to give us our initialization vector. Okay, so let's step through our program. Okay, 
so let's run it up to here. OK, so we've got a problem there with our key. So we need a longer key. This costs an exception. And this one is acceptable. OK, so there's our, our key converted into into bytes. It's 24 bytes in our in our key. So we're using 192 bits here. And our initialization vector is in here. And that's 8 bytes long. This will create our 3 des encryptor. We then encrypt the stream to get this as our cipher text. If we then run it through, then we see we get the result at the end. If we use a different IV, so if we remember we got F7BE, if we use a different IV, then we should get a different cipher stream. Okay, so that shows how we use CBC with three days.